Hello everyone, Paul here. I've got another how-to video for you today. Today we're gonna talk about how to host a marketing event using ClassN. Uh, if you have any interest in doing this, uh, it is a good platform for doing that and we wanna show you how uh, to make the best use of this software for your whatever marketing needs you have. So just stay tuned and watch this video and we'll explain the process. It's very simple. Uh, don't you worry and I believe that you'll have a great event with ClassN's help. All right, well today we wanna to show you how to do a media marketing type activity, um, sort of like a webcast using ClassN. So the first thing you want to do is to go here to eeo.cn, ClassN's website here. Um, you're going to need to sign in here. Uh, I, I know this is in Chinese, but if you just click this button, it'll lead you to this page. And it's easy enough to navigate for now. We are working on an English version of signing in. But if you click on this English, it will take you to a different website, uh, an English website. Um, but for now, so just click here. Go ahead and put in your sign in information. Word. Here's a captcha. PS9. Is that right? Let's hope that works this time. Okay, good. <laughs> so it signed me into my account here. Now you will need an, an institution account in order to do this. Um, <clears throat> if you don't have one of those yet, we do have other videos on how to get your free. Uh, free trial to to set up that account, but you're gonna need to have a verified account uh, in order to do a webcast, which means you you will need to uh, purchase. Uh, there's a minimum amount of time you need to purchase with Class N to do this uh, <clears throat> as a webcast because uh, that feature is is limited to people on the trial account, and that's a way for us to protect ourselves. Um, we don't want people to use Class N to broadcast something inappropriate. Um, without being verified, so there's you know we can we can take um, whatever actions we need to do. You know, this is just a way to protect ourselves. But anyways, once you come into this uh, this opening page, is uh, the web management system for Class N. Um, you want to go to this courses button here, uh, and then we're going to create a new course. All right, you can name this whatever you want. Let's say it's uh, November marketing event um, <clears throat> we can make this a, a, a it, the course type is not too important here um, because for the webcast you can just send people a link and they'll be able to watch it in their browser um, so most people won't be using the class in app to see that to do this so you, you probably won't have a lot of students um, so if you want to do public course uh, it's, it's easier way to have a lot of students in class but I think you'll probably just invite a few people, maybe for your marketing event that you've that you've uh, notified beforehand. So we'll just make it a standard course. You can change a picture here if you want. Add a course information. This won't be very important for a, a marketing event because no one will see that. They'll just watch the the actual webcast, right? Um, you do need to set a course advisor. I'll just make it me. It's just the person who can change the course information. Uh, you want to give them cloud resources to whatever material they might need during their uh, the event. So I'll just hit this top one. That just gives them access to all of the cloud. Um, if you want to change the uh, background of your of your class of class in uh, here, you can you can uh, you can hit create cl classroom setting and put in a customized picture here and find some um, or create some kind of background that's you know more exciting that shows maybe a QR code of your company uh, that they can scan and get more information or just you know whatever information you want to be visible on the background or whatever images you want you can set up there to make it more personal personalized uh, but we'll just use the default for this example real quick uh, I'm gonna hit done uh, this part you don't need to worry about so let's just go ahead and create immediately all right so now we've created our course. We want to create a lesson. So go to this top right here, create a lesson. All right, <clears throat> November marketing event. Um, just say number one. Maybe uh, you're going to do this on Tuesday night. So we put Tuesday night here. Uh, so let's go Tuesday night. It's going to be the 27th. All right, what time do you want your event to be? Uh, it's going to be night, we said, right? So let's say it's at... I don't know, 8, 8.30. Uh, it's only going to be 30 minutes long. Let's say it's an hour long. We'll give it an hour here. Uh, you want to select a teacher. 
we'll say uh, I'll be the teacher for this I'll run this marketing event uh, if you want to have an assistant you can also select an assistant um, how many people do you want on stage this depends on how many people you want to invite in for this event if you want it to be like a panel kind of thing maybe you have uh, six students uh, maybe it's a larger panel maybe even eight or maybe it's just you interviewing someone you can make it just one-on-one -on -one. Um, <clears throat> the reason why this is important is you do get charged more uh, depending on how many students are in there so let's just say it's a we want about one teacher and maybe three people we'll make it one on three uh, they have access to all of the cloud. I already set that up. Remember, I just clicked this top one. They have access to all of the cloud if they need to open something during the event. Uh, this is the important part here. Um, if you want this to be broadcast, you have to click this. All right. I'll uh, just accept this little agreement here. And then here's the important two here. Website live broadcast. If I check this box, it'll now have an, I have an option to broadcast this out um, on their website. And... You, you probably want to click this one too. This will uh, save it uh, to a cloud and then people can actually watch your event later. Maybe they didn't make it live. They can still watch like a recorded version of it. So these two you probably want to select. This one you definitely need to select if this is your goal to make a webcast. Uh, I wouldn't worry about the tags here. Just go ahead and hit done. Now your classroom is ready. You're ready to go. Now... <clears throat> Here you see a this little link button. This is going to be very important. So what you're going to want to do is you want to copy this, paste it, and send it to whoever you want to come watch this this event. Um, you, if I click on it here, it will just open it in my browser. But I want to copy this URL and send it to everyone, uh, and uh, you know post it on you know whatever social media uh, sites you want to, just to get as many people interested and um, have the the link to go to watch your webcast and I'll show you what that actually looks like uh, it will be there'll be nothing there because no one's actually uh, hosting this event right now but when they do click on the link this is what they'll see they'll see this website here uh, now this is still in Chinese we're working on an English version for this um, but it shouldn't matter too much because you know, the play button is simple enough um, <clears throat> And over here on the uh, right side, there's actually a chat box. Uh, and uh, you can uh, type, uh, as long as you sign in, um, <clears throat> you can type messages and there could be a, like a scrolling chat. Um, so people who are watching online can interact with uh, whoever's in the web, uh, whoever's filming the uh, webcast or broadcasting the webcast. Once you have your class set up properly, it's time to prepare for your webinar or marketing event. You should consider how you want your screen to look. We'll show you a few examples here to get you started. If you plan on one person doing the majority of the talking, you might consider a layout such as this, where the speaker can be clearly seen and space is left for whatever visual materials they have prepared. If you want to have a panel type discussion or plan on having multiple speakers, you could consider a setup like this, where each video is clearly seen and questions are stacked on the bottom of the screen. Finally, if you want to interact more with your audience, be sure to check in with the chat on your stream. You can keep tabs on what everyone is saying by watching that live stream on your mobile device or in a web browser on your computer. Or you can pose a question to your chat and check their answers before responding with your own ideas. These are just a few examples to get you thinking. Hosting an online marketing event or webinar on ClassN is simple and affordable. It can cost you as little as two RMB an hour. That's only 30 cents. And it will cost your audience absolutely nothing. So, what's stopping you? All right, that's it for our how-to video on how to host a marketing event. Uh, if you still have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Check out our channel for other videos, uh, how-tos to use ClassN more effectively. And thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you online.